Let's take the entire history of planet Earth and squeeze it down to one calendar year. The January 1st will be the day of the formation of the planet and 365 days later, today. At what stage of the calendar do you think people appear? The very first signs of life appear on February 26th, and dinosaurs will become extinct on December 25. People are not born until December 31st, 2250. According to this calendar, we exist for only 70 minutes. Do you realize how little it is? We are insanely young relative to the age of the Earth, and even more so about the universe. Humanity did not find a huge number of epoch-making events on a cosmic scale but it has a lot to see, but not for us. In 2004, scientists discovered an asteroid and named it Apophis. It was observed for a long time and came to the conclusion that there is a 2.7% chance that it will collide with the Earth. This was supposed to happen on April 13th, 2029. The panic in those days was crazy, and there are reasons for that. An asteroid like Apophis can level an entire city and cause enormous destruction to the entire planet. The life of mankind in general remains in question. In the event of a collision, a huge stone 325 meters in diameter will crash into the ground at high speed. The impact forms a crater with a diameter of 5 kilometers. In 2013, NASA scientists concluded that the possibility of a collision with Earth in 2029 was ruled out. There will be a rapprochement, but the collision is not. On April 13, 2029, the asteroid Apophis will pass at a distance of less than 32,000 kilometers to Earth. It is closer than many of our artificial satellites and much closer than the Moon. In 1986, the world witnessed a terrible catastrophe, the explosion of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. As a result of this event, radioactive debris and fuel caused enormous damage to the environment. An area with a radius of more than 30 kilometers is guarded so as not to harm people. This event was so devastating that this zone will become habitable only after 20,000 years. In the year 40,000, the Voyager space probes will finally pass by another star. Let me remind you that these spaceships were launched back in the 70s. They were created in order to leave our solar system and tell other civilizations that we are here. Along the way, these probes took the first photos of the planets. At the moment, the Voyager 1 space probe is the farthest artificial object from Earth. Even though it has been flying for the last 50 years, it is still 22 light years away from us. And they are flying at a speed of 17 kilometers per second. Think about it. If an alien civilization discovers Voyager and can stop it and pick it up, then they will see a golden record on it with music, sounds, photos that we Earthlings sent in order to tell our story and who we are. And on the cover there is a pulsar map with which alien civilizations will be able to detect us and find our planet. Approximately every 300,000 years, the Earth's magnetic field turns over. The last pole changes occurred 780,000 years ago, so it should happen again in the next few thousand years. People will definitely find a change in the Earth's magnetic field, and this is fraught with great danger. Geomagnetic storms will begin, all electrical systems will turn off, navigation devices will not work, Planes will stop flying, many birds will be disoriented. They will crash into houses, fall and fly strangely. Televisions, the internet, any electrical appliances will become unusable. And it can happen at any moment. And it will happen with 100% probability. When a supermassive star dies, it explodes into a supernova. A huge, deadly, powerful explosion takes place in just a few seconds, and such an explosion sends shockwaves throughout the galaxy. In our night sky right now, we see several stars that are approaching their death, or rather two red giants that are about to die, Antares and Betelgeuse. It is expected that they may become supernovae sometime in the next millions of years. They are already at the final stage of their stellar evolution. Technically, this may have already happened. They are just half a thousand light years away from us. And even if they exploded right now, we will find out about it in 50 years. 
The light from their explosion will be brighter than the full moon in the sky. It will be visible even during the day for three months. You and I probably won't be able to see a single supernova explosion in our lifetime, and that's a good thing. In 1969, humanity landed on the moon for the first time and left their famous footprints there. Footprints of the first people on the moon. There is no wind or water on our satellite that could cause these footprints to disappear. So, these footprints are still there. If the Americans didn't even land on the moon, you and I will find out it someday. In 100 million years, Saturn will have no rings left and it will become an ordinary boring planet. Its rings are a bunch of huge icy rocks that are constantly attracted to Saturn. Scientists' estimates show that 10 to 45 tons of rocks fall on the gas giant every second. They burn up in the atmosphere there and cause something similar to rains. We are lucky that we were born right now and in general. We were able to find out that Saturn has rings. Someday, there will be no trace of them. But don't worry, while Saturn will lose its rings, another planet, Mars, will form its own. In about 40 million years, Mars will attract its moon Phobos, which is mostly made of ice by its gravity. The gravity of Mars will tear apart Phobos, and its debris will form new rings. 65 million years ago, an asteroid 10 kilometers wide fell into the Gulf of Mexico. This led to the death of the dinosaurs, and the ash from the impact rose into the atmosphere and obscured the sun for two years. Due to the lack of light, the plants began to die in the first year. Animals, gradually. The effects of such an impact on the planet were felt for many years, even when the clouds had already cleared. According to scientists' models, such events occur and will occur every 250 million years. Gamma ray bursts are the strongest explosions in the universe. They are formed as a result of the formation of black holes. The bursts last only a few seconds, but emit as much energy as our sun will emit over the entire 10 billion years of its existence. They are quite dangerous. In the past, about 440 million years ago, a gamma ray burst occurred near the Earth. It converted nitrogen and oxygen into nitrogen dioxide. And this led to the fact that the sky on our planet darkened and a new ice age began. And this event became the second largest extinction on our planet. Sometime in the next 500 million years, the Earth will suffer again. There is nothing to do here except to observe. The Milky Way is on a direct collision course with its neighboring galaxy, Andromeda. Right now, we are 2.5 million light years apart. Andromeda and the Milky Way are rapidly approaching at a speed of 140 kilometers per second. And in 4.5 billion years, they will collide and form a new galaxy, which may be called the Milky Meta somehow. The night sky will be beautiful. In 2 billion years, people will see the Andromeda disk approaching in the night sky. And after 4 billion years, Andromeda will already be clearly visible. Then, for 100 million years, the sky will be filled with bright flashes from the birth of new stars. Every year, the moon moves 5 centimeters away from the Earth. This leads to a slowdown in the rotation of our planet. And yes, for some reason, many people think that 5 centimeters is not much. But after billions of years, these 5 centimeters will turn into kilometers. When the Earth was still a very small planet, a day on it lasted five hours. Over the past 4.5 billion years, the Moon has moved away, and the rotation of our Earth has slowed down. And this has led to the fact that our day is now 24 hours long. If everything continues at the same pace, then in 4.5 billion years, the day on Earth will almost double, and will be 43 hours. I don't envy the people of the future, after 100 trillion years, star formation will stop. There will be no more hydrogen fuel, and the universe will be populated only by black holes, white dwarfs, and neutron stars. It will be almost the end of everything. The universe will be dark and cold, and over time, it will only get darker and colder. It is likely that some planets will be able to survive, 
and will even be able to retain internal heat, thanks to which a person can live. But all civilizations will wait for one thing, when the last star goes out. By the way, I can make a video about the events that we will definitely catch in the near future. If you're interested, put 10,000 likes and I'll tell you about it. Thanks for watching.